it y'all, it's E-J-O-E -E Business, welcome to the channel, if this is your first time here, thank you for coming, I hope you enjoy my reaction, okay, this is just popular, I guess, people want me to do something else, um, this is, like, could they talk about, um, the struggles of white people in South Africa, so, here goes something else somebody want me to react to, alright, um, White farmers in South Africa live in fear of attack. This is three years old, this video. So, I don't know what the hell they're talking about on here. I just know people wanted me to watch this. And, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, I've watched so many things about white farmers. Um, About white farmers that the way they make black people look over there, they make them look like, all right, so over here in America, you know how it looks like reverse racism, what it looks like. And it's hard for me to look at it like that because out here in America, it's like black people are looked down upon so what, whenever I watch things like this and people tell me they make it look like white people are just looked down upon and how they're all treated like crap. So that was why, like, I ended up doing something. The last video I did, it was, um, it was sad, man. It was about, um, it was about some white people, just like the, the living over there. I forgot how it was. It was by this one lady. I thought the documentary was cool. I only had the short version because I know it's a longer version. But um, the only thing I didn't like about that was she didn't talk to any black people. You know, so like she kind of made it just seem like, in my opinion, when I was watching it, I was like, OK, I feel it. But it was like she only got one side of it, you know, but um so anyways, let me go back. So white farmers in South Africa live in fear of attack. See what this is about, all right? Um, I want you guys to let me know how you guys feel about this. And, um, man, I think this is going to probably, unless people want me to do some more on the white farmers, I think this might be the last one I do. Because there is some other ones people told me to do and I don't like like I don't like doing my reactions like before watching things. But it was just certain things people sent me and I'm just like, man, like this is too much and this is I think this might be the last one I do unless people want me to do more reactions to it. Alright. But anyways, white farmers in South Africa live in fear of attack. Yeah. Let's go. Take this out. All right. You can relax. Are you over, but you feel okay? Whoa! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! If you want to cultivate the land in South Africa, say these farmers, this is the sort of training you need. A two-week tactical survival course run by a former member of the Israeli Special Forces. Idan Abolnik is teaching this group how to ward off or neutralize the enemy, a self-described practical guide to staying alive. They're here because they want to make a difference. They want to, they want to defend their life, to feel more secure for, for the family and for them. And his pupils claim plenty of real-world experience. I've been attacked myself, and these attackers were trained, trained very well, so um, I got shot. All right, I just got to stop this real quick. Why can't it just be self-defense classes? Like, it's like... Why can't they just say self-defense classes? Like, it seemed like...
All right. All right, man. In, in, in my face, and, I, and I, you, know, you can see the marks already. And I got stabbed nine times by a knife, but I survived it. It's personal accounts like these that fuel the sense of fear. Fight! And people like Marley Swanapool think they're being targeted because they're white. Good. It's, uh, it's pretty intense. Today. They're practicing. This is not intense. What's happening in our country? She made that look hella real. I get very emotional about it. I'm... What is happening in South Africa? Um, our people are getting murdered, tortured. Our old people who can't defend themselves are being um, burned with. Cooking oil. The numbers just rising by the day. It's rising, but I mean, you are always worried that you will be the next. Crime stalks the lives of all South Africans, but farmers feel particularly vulnerable. 74 were killed last year, according to official statistics, although many think the true picture is worse. Those farm attacks are brutal, and usually they don't steal anything. So there's something we don't know what it is, but they are just getting murdered. And then they leave. John's <laughs> but blacks are also victims of brutal crimes. Two white farmers tried to seal this 20-year-old into a coffin. The farmers were convicted of attempted murder last year. Crime happens to everyone. It's criminality that is happening in the farms. And uh, we have always condemned it. But this crime does not only happen to white farmers. It also happened to black farm workers. The case lit a fuse and drew large protests at court. White farmers own vast tracts of land in South Africa and receive little sympathy. The white people's culture of life in this country is at its highest. They live a, world, a first world lifestyle in a third world country. And the majority of the population lives a third world lifestyle in a third world country. So, and that majority is the blacks. So the ruling ANC is taking drastic action. They've adopted a new policy called land expropriation without compensation. Gracias. A decision that deeply worries people like Philip Potita. He's a fourth generation farmer in the hills of Limpopo. It's worrying because promises are being made to the masses. And you don't want to make promises to the masses and not deliver. So currently it's it's a boiling pot. We grew year by year. Mr. Podhita took us for a tour of his avocado and nut farm. It's a profitable business employing hundreds of local people, and he's not prepared to hand it over. It's in our blood, our ancestors, our fathers, grandfathers. This is what we were born to do. I mean, where do I go? I can't just pack up here and leave everything we've done here. This farm is already subject to four claims filed by community groups who say the land originally belonged to them. And the official overseeing the process says Mr. Potheater will have to come to the table. What do you say to a guy who owns land that's been in the family for four or five generations? There's nothing we can do, but we can put you through the process together with the community until we find a way out of this, because it needs to happen. So if it needs to happen, you cannot say, uh, you cannot claim my land. No, you cannot say that. Yeah, what you can say, it has to happen. The government says land will be redistributed because... All right. You know, because all the stuff that I've watched about white farmers, I'm going to keep it. Keep it a buck with you. Now, all the stuff I've ever seen, like about South Africa with white farmers, I'm sorry, but it's just the stuff I've seen. It made me even, it made me think that there was no black farmers. Why? Because everything I ever done, like what with people, it was always white farmers. You know, like there was stuff that I didn't even do reaction to is, are you here? It's white farmers, white farmers. So right when how the guy, how he was like, you know, they take from us too, you know, black farmers. I'm in my head like, well shit, damn. 
you know, like, because they just make it sound like it's just that, you know. I think all of it's hella unfortunate, man, you know. I think all of it's hella unfortunate. <sighs> Y'all, let me know how you guys feel about this. Um, let me know if you guys know any farmers. Um, get at me about this, man. I... I haven't talked to anybody before. Not that I have hella freaking followers or people that leave comments, but I, n I never had anybody that was a farmer leave anything. So like, that would be hella dope if somebody is a farmer, if you guys know anybody that can like leave something, like give me like what they feel and all that. Cause that's, I'm real curious about that, you know? But hey, thank you for coming, y'all. South Africa's white farmers in South Africa live in fear of attack. I just don't get why that's not self-defense classes. Like it's they make it like strictly for farmers. Like why can't it just be self-defense? But whatever. I guess it's out there, right? We out of here, y'all. Thank you for coming. All right.